Hello everyone, this is Zé Cuchão from Twitter. Today we're going to talk about uh, unbreaking uh, bad Cobra custom firmware from DEX or DEC uh, by using factory service mode. So uh, um, once once a time when I had um, when I had installed a bad custom firmware which with uh, with the bad Cobra stage two, um, I asked Juni for help to unbreak it, and uh, uh, he told me, uh, "Yo, man, just just use factory service mode. You are on Dex, so uh, you 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 will be able to unbreak easy." Because you are on uh, on deck on uh, on uh, on uh, on Reebok custom firmware, but the, the stage two is bad, so you can just you can just uh, use factory service mode, and it will delete the the dev flash. So yeah, so you do this for bad Cobra stage two custom firmware, such as pseudo uh, Reebok custom firmware uh, for deck or dex flavors. Uh, it formats the dev flash, so preventing a uh, stage two brick, uh, stage two gets deleted, and you just need to then exit uh, factory service mode and flash your favorite custom firmware from recovery. It just ne it needs to be to f uh, adapt to the target ID of your system, such as Dex or Dex. Uh, do not do this uh, on. Uh, well, you you can also do this on on uh, on sex custom firmware, but I, I don't believe it will uh, work the same. I believe it will uh, unbreak uh, even easier. Uh, but uh, you need to use the right custom firmware to then exit the the factory service mode. Otherwise, you will be stuck forever. So the first step you need to do is to on Windows enable hidden system files and then you need to enable hidden operating system files so uh, you can find this on the, the properties um, on the control panel and on the folder options and explorer options and you can see here uh, I, I have a folder unity and uh, hidden files and uh, something about uh, operating system files unchecked and here it's uh, it's here to show a hidden files okay so after you do this you just format the pen drive on fat 32 uh, mbr uh, rufus is recommended for this then you grab a jig dongle uh, i usually usually use uh, tnc plus plus 2.0 or a ti 84 plus or a fat PSP with 5.50 uh, Gen D because uh, the fat PSP uh, is probably the most recommended one because you can use the program from from Brandon Brandon uh, Brandon J and you can just fetch it from the internet or a TI 84 plus also recommended you can also use the the, the same program but for the, the TI calculator you just need a, a cable similar to the to the PS3 uh, charging cable for the controller, and of course the TNZ++ 2.0, which you can use the same cable for for this. And you you use the payload and you program it uh, with uh, for the TNZ. Uh, so you enter factory service mode. You insert jig on the rightmost port near Blu-ray drive. I forgot to mention that this rightmost port on Decre um, on Decre it's middle top port because it has six ports uh, near blue drive uh, blu-ray drive you turn off the, the console completely by pulling the cord or by switching uh, the I2O on the on and off switch and uh, then you switch back and replug uh, re power cord and you quickly press power then eject immediately after and, and then you wait until it turns off so you, you must plug the dongle you must uh, you must uh, insert it on the rightmost port you must uh, uh, put the console uh, completely completely off then you must put it back on standby and then you just press uh, immediately, immediately power then eject immediately after 
so beep 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 okay so after that you insert the, the lv2 diag.self enter 3.55 i will put here that it has around 366 kilobytes so it's easy to find on on the, for example on midnight archive midnight archive i think it's also also on that journey um, but i'm not sure but it should be there um, on the root of the FAT32 MBR uh, pen drive, then you insert the, the rework pub, the good kind, on the, the root of the FAT32 MBR uh, pen drive. Um, you, then you insert the pen drive on the rightmost port near the Blu-ray drive. Again, here on the on the ECRE. on the ECRE. it's middle port, middle top okay and uh, then you turn on console normally it should start uh, the the led blinking so green led green led blinking and then you wait uh, at least thir 20 minutes because it might not shut off uh, usually it happens most of the times and then you forcefully uh, turn it off uh, by just unplugging the 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 cable or it's just switching the the switch off so the logs should be in pen drive you you see one and two you have to have these two options enabled on the on windows uh, if you have linux it will show immediately so if you have linux it's more convenient uh, on the operator log dot txt uh, then you check the content it starts by manufacturing updating start package ah yes the the the, the name of the update must be ps3 pop so you must know that uh, and it starts boot for a non flash it creates the non the, the the flash regions so it formats all the dev flash uh, regions uh, initializing taking a while starting up the process but it fails okay so um, it does the, the entire process of erasing the dev flash so at this point the stage 2 from cobra is already deleted from from the end of this of this uh, step i believe it it's also deleted on the, on the on the this the start of this step or the at the end but it 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 does get deleted um, after it's finished, you exit factory service mode by placing exit lv 2 diagself it, It's about 202 kilobytes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, on the root of the pen drive, and, uh, and then you remove the, the pup uh, from the root from, from, for safety, because we don't want to, to have it installed and then just put the wrong LV2 die again it, it will try to install again so it's bad okay uh, and you just remove it for safety and you should now be out then you use recovery to return to the to the reboot custom firmware of your choice so this this is um, this is uh, this happened to, to me once I, I believe it also happened with Juni uh, and it also happened with a friend of mine called Sol. He had a, a bad uh, deck uh, custom firmware uh, installation. We didn't know back then, but uh, we then discovered it, it had a, um, a stage two brick. So the, the person who created the custom firmware uh, decided to, it was a very funny idea to, uh, to copy to copy uh, the the stage two from the from the dex uh, from the dex uh, cobra to the to the to to uh, a deck uh, a deck name so instead of sta stage two dot dex they they just renamed it stage two dot d e h and uh, yeah that, that that's all they did and they fucked up the the, the custom firmware entirely so it, it could not boot it will it will hang in black screen but now my friend's console is saved thanks to this method so uh, 
he, he, he appreciated for our help he, and uh, he will probably talk about it in a write-up soon so um, uh, that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you on the next video